दो तीन बुक्स भी पढ़ी हैं तो उसके बेसिस पे इन्होंने जो प्रेजेंटेशन बनाई है वो एक आपके सामने दिखाएंगे तो हमें इनको जो है अच्छे से अच्छे इनको सुझाव देने हैं ताकि इनकी जो प्रेजेंटेशन हो वो अच्छी से अच्छी हो और इनका ग्रेड अच्छे से अच्छा हो जो भी ये सेवा कर रहे हैं अपने प्रोजेक्ट की सब भगवान को अर्पित कर रहे हैं तो ये कर्म कर्म योग है कि ये अपना प्रोजेक्ट भी कर रहे हैं और जो है सेवा की सेवा भी हो रही है आप ऐसे मोड़ लीजिए खड़े हो गए यहाँ ध्यान दीजिए बैठिए सब लोग बैठ जाइए पंद्रह मिनट की बस पहले कुछ नहीं दिए बच्चों को एक्सप्रेस कर रहे हैं थोड़ा सा बैंड कर
and uh, until they have acquired the condition which fits them for reunion with God. Now, Indian Vedic scriptures they say that there are uh, 84 lakh forms of life. Uh, so, human uh, a soul goes from lower form to higher form to ultimately attain the human form in which it gets a chance to merge with God and if not that possible then again it goes to lower form this again cycle of 84 uh, for lakh uh, different forms to reattain the human forms and this cycle goes on uh, till the perfection is attained Ratha Upanishad says the soul is not born, it does not die it was not produced from anyone unborn, eternal, it is not slain though the body is slain that the only the, the this body can be uh, uh, can uh, can die, but the soul was never born. Neither it was it will die. It has always existed, existed, and it will always exist. Quran says, "And you were dead, and uh, he brought you back to life, and he he shall cause you to die, and shall bring you back to life, and in the end." shall gather you unto himself. Again, this link, uh, uh, Quran also is also saying about this cycle of reincarnation. Now, if we talk about soul, uh, uh, how does Gita, uh, Gita define it exactly? It says that it is a living body within, uh, it is a living entity within a body. Like, uh, uh, it, is, uh, it is seated on a machine made of material energy. Uh, so, like, uh, uh, if there is a vehicle, it cannot go without its driver. So, for this body, this body is nothing. This soul is seated like a driver. This soul is basically the living entity, entity and it is running this body. And uh, when a, a soul transfers from one body to another, a sober, it is said in Gita that a sober person was not bewildered by this change. A sober person means a self-realized soul. A soul which is self-realized, it knows, it identifies itself that I am a soul, I am not this body. It never uh, is bewildered by this change of transferring from one body to another. Then uh, Lord Krishna said, the foolish cannot understand how a living entity can quit his body, nor can they understand what sort of body he enjoys under the spell of modes of nature. But one whose eyes are trained in knowledge can see all this. The endeavouring transcendents who are situated in self-realization can clearly they can see this all this clearly. But those whose minds are developed and who are not situated whose minds are not developed and who are not situated in self-realization cannot see what is taking place though they were right. Again, he is just saying that until or unless you are not self-realized, you cannot see all this. That is why when, when you are self-realized, you can see that you are not bewildered by this change. So, like, how to realize this soul? This, this question comes in. So, uh, this is uh, what I said earlier also that uh, our scriptures say that you are not this body, you are this soul you are the active uh, principle, the soul is the active principle I am the active principle, I am the soul, I am not this body this is the basic thing to understand I am Brahmasmi I am not this material body, I am the spirit a soul is equal to everyone equal doesn't mean that uh, a self the soul is not like uh, among few people. Like if there is a dog in the street, a mosquito, any animal, a soul feels itself equal to everyone. Because it, I am the soul, I am not this body. And soul is equal to every soul. Irrespective of the material nature of the body. Working senses. So, uh, how uh, things are explained? They say that working senses are superior to the dull matter. This body is dull matter. Working senses are superior to them. And mind is higher than these senses. After this dull matter comes working senses, 
above them is mind, above them is intelligence, and still higher is the soul. Soul is higher even than intelligence. Body just a cover for the soul, like uh, I just said, like a, a, drive, a car, it's just nothing, some material for a driver, basically driver is running everything. The soul is the living entity and body is only a cover for it. Death. After soul, yes, death, I already talked about it. Death, death is something still not clearly defined that what happens at the time of death. Kinetical, uh, kinetic medical assumption says that uh, when brain stops working, when on the machine you see no signal at all, they say that person is dies. But person has again uh, come back. These waves have again seen, the signals have again, are again seen. The, the persons who were present at the time of death, they say that uh, some mysterious changes happen, uh, the luster all of a sudden goes out of life, uh, 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 goes out of eyes. But what uh, physical changes happen at that time, it has not yet been explained. Um, in this regard, uh, uh, I also want to talk about astrology and dream relation. So, Srimad Bhagavad says that astronomical calculations are uh, not uh, are not something by chance. They are facts. They are calculated. Uh, astronomical calculation arrangements are made according to one's good or bad days. Like how you do. Depends. Okay, uh, they depend upon your karmas. These astro uh, astro uh, astrological bodies is define your fate and uh, how uh, this is uh, arranged. They are arranged by your karmas. If you do good act, then you will get good health, good education, beautiful features, etc. And uh, okay, then we will talk about reincarnation. Incarnation. What is the logic behind reincarnation? It is said that when your soul comes from the God, the eternal, the one, then first it attains the human form. Then, according to your karmas, it uh, attains the lower forms of plants, animals, aquatic forms. This cycle of 84 lakh different forms, and ultimately to re-attain the human form. In human form. You can uh, perform uh, uh, live it in three ways. Uh, Satvam, if you uh, like, you do good deeds. If, if you do uh, live it, your human life in such way, then you will uh, attain the uh, form of sura in the next life. That is of a demigod, raja. If you uh, do bad things, then that form is raja. Uh, sorry, uh, if you uh, do bad things, that form is tama. And you will uh, 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 attain Naraka form in the next life, that is the hellish conditions. And like Raja, like you live with passion and then you will reattain the human form, Nar. Uh, in this, uh, another thing that which you can uh, see there is uh, out of body experiences or near death experiences. Like, uh, uh, in these experiences, a person that, like if somebody is on this uh, on operating table, they have seen themselves being operated. They hover their own, over their own body, but they don't feel any pain because this material body is lying there, but the active body, the soul, is still active. <coughs> it is seen from outside the body. It is seen, and these experiences are still not explained. The gross body is inactive, but the subtle body is active. Dreams and daydreams. When you dream, I have a daydream, uh, it is said that the, uh, these are similar phenomena, that your soul hovers over different places and you see these dreams and daydreams. And return. If your soul returns, then uh, you live your life again, otherwise that is called death. So, Basically, our Vedas define that when your soul leaves your body, that is that. 
if the soul uh, returns, okay, you live again, like after your dreams, if the soul returns, you are living the life, you are the existing, the present material body, and if it leaves, then that is that transfer, transmigration from one body to another. The soul lives. Hypnotic regression. So, if uh, 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 the, uh, there, there are experiences of this previous life and all, it has been tried to use hypnotic regressions to uh, see those previous life experiences and all. But it is this practice has been criticized because uh, using hypnotics you uh, basically see your unconscious mind which can be childhood experiences, your stories, the, the books you have read, the stories you have read or your imagination. So it is basically only unconscious mind. We are not, say, not saying that with hypnosis you cannot uh, 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 get your experiences from your previous life but you cannot differentiate whether your experiences are from your previous life or merely your imagination, childhood experience or some story or anything. So, life. No. Origin of life. Life comes from life. It has always been ex existing and it comes only from life. Modern science. Okay, like uh, when scientists, these modern scientists talk about life, how uh, this life has originated, they say that once upon a time some chemicals combined and with a lucky combination, the single first cell was formed and then it evolved and all. But if that has happened once, why that lucky combination has not happened again? This is a big question. Why this combination is never seen again? And uh, okay, they say that they have artificially created life and test tube babies, but what was the starting material that was obtained from a living entity? That was not, they created completely in the lab. They have to start somewhere with the life. Life comes from life. It is nithe, eternal, ever existing. Uh, to conclude, I would say that it is a very critical study the study of soul and life uh, we, uh, this, at one point we would all agree that modern science uh, has basically failed to define the basic question of life and death if we uh, don't talk about soul if, uh, on this path of modern science at least the life and death they want to study this but they have yet not been able to define them only after uh, centuries of studies. Uh, but in Vedas, all this has been defined that they are always existing, they are ever existing. They say that the, depending upon your karmas, your gunas and your desires, you will get your next body, this cycle of transmigration from one body to another until you attain the perfection to uh, merge with the God. Uh, so, this is how the South cycle happens. And in, in this, uh, while studying all these various features, at least, okay, the basic assumptions, I would, uh, uh, we need to verify, uh, a rigorous study is required to uh, agree upon the basic assumptions, but at least, whatever they have talked, sound sensible, they have logical linkages, that from where they have started, it goes in a, proceeds in a logical way. However, in modern science, they have not, their uh, start is, uh, their basic assumption is contradictory to themselves that, okay, once a lucky combination happened, why that has not happened? So, for this project, due to limitation of time and study, I would say that, okay, uh, modern science is a failure that we should accept. However, with Vedic literature, everything has been linked in a logical way. And we need to study in more rigorous matter in this direction for further clarification. So, give a small correction and a back to point. In the beginning, you mentioned that the objective of the human life is that uh, to get liberation, and you said merging with the God. Now, merging term is wrong actually. It should be to go back to the kingdom of God to serve Him. 
or it appears from your uh, um, sentence that merging means we lose our individual I consciousness or identity. But individual identity of the soul will always remain. Soul to be destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Soul is never destroyed. Merging means? Okay. Yes. 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 Where do you have to prevent this? Uh, attacking. It was a part of your curriculum or something? I took the course. I, I think they may dispute it on this angle that uh, you are too biased in choosing the literatures for it. Uh, you uh -huh. may have cited from other journals as well, as in account. Yeah, he has got comment that he has focused no. on the very literature. Now he should also present the Second uh, point that is that that comment. I think you should refer Ian's comments and he has uh, regarding past regression and uh, uh, reincarnation studies. He has two ninety cases on uh, case studies of uh, such cases in South Asia and Southeast Asia. So that is a proper book, quite validated, and you can cite sources from that. Another thing which you can see is uh, you can cite sources from uh, papers of uh, Sadhguru Prabhu. Richard L. Thompson. So he has also worked on uh, consciousness studies. So actually, these things would add weight. Otherwise, they would simply say you have just copied from one place, and this is very biased as a scientific study. I I think they would. Uh, so, yeah, no, uh, I think they would have more. Like that doctor here, I just not remember the name. I think American doctor here the history of. Uh, out of uh, body experience OB and uh, NDE. Wait, Ian Stevenson? Ian Stevenson? Uh, 290 cases are right. Mm -hmm. wow. yes. This is the victim presentation to the final ASI yes, have to look on the other side. Uh, that was how it was planned. Especially this one. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so the question is uh, that uh, the chapters uh, they have cited a paper on consciousness and uh, para consciousness. So that sounds very scientific. And there they have cited various processes also. Scientific basis of Christian consciousness, it's a small book, third chapter. I think. So that is very interesting from a scientific point of view. And life comes from life, there is also some yeah, there uh, references is also there. There is some references or there is also there in life comes from life. Right now he has based his uh, from two books, Life, Com life Comes From Life and second is uh, Coming, Coming Back. Back. Coming Basically back. these two books only he has um, used for the fiction. <coughs> so, any other suggestion, comment? Mataji? No problem. 